juzi umemwona katika gari ya umeme angepigwa shock kwenye hiyo gari angepigwa shock atuwache na rigiji sasa inchi singeisha wanasema inaponyesha humwagika kweli kupanda kwa bei za mafuta na bidhaa muhimu si jambo geni sana hapa nchini na kote duniani ila kinachokera na kukiketa maini hata zaidi ni kwamba wa Kenya hawaandaliwi kwa nyakati za aina hii kwa sasa mafuta petroli yanachezea kwa shilingi 211 huku dizeli ikichupa hadi shilingi 210 Akihojiwa mbele ya kamati ya nishati, waziri wa Kawi David Chilchir aliulizwa na kamati hiyo ni kwa nini wa Kenya hawaandaliwi mapema kwa masaibu ya aina hii. Fares in public service vehicles to increase by 20% effective midnight today following fuel price hike by EPRA Matatu Owners Association announces. And uh, even as uh, waziri we, we do this You know sometimes because you seem to have this information handy it's always good to prepare Kenyans this the thing of like now just midnight without even psychological preparation sometimes people understand when they is a, they understand that uh, we are moving to some difficult times or some fall but then you wake up without and everything looks no more the weather is the same then some additional 20 shillings without without even preparing in Kenyans psychologically I think that's also another area we need uh, to look at. Huku Chirchir akiwataka wa Kenya kujiandaa kwa nyakati ngumu hata zaidi. Across the whole world we did show yesterday and we'll mention very briefly how the UK, the US, South Africa, Uganda, Tanzania has been hit uh, with this kind of pricing and it is just unprecedented and uh, I wish it was still possible to subsidize until of course uh, we had some covenants with IMF. Uh, but suddenly the pain is heavy it's not going to be easy but luckily because of our g2g we have been able to go back to in the last two weeks when we noticed the trend was uh, going off uh, we went back to the international oil uh, companies and negotiated to bring down the freight and premium i want to confirm that uh, for diesel whereas we've been paying 118 on freight and premium we've negotiated a discount of 30 dollars uh, and brought that number to 88 uh, something that could benefit us at the pump up to 8 shillings on freight and premium alone Mukurugenzi mtendaji wa Epra Daniel Kipto akishikilia kwamba si Kenya pekee inayokumbana na kupanda kwa bei ya bidhaa hiyo muhimu In my view chair I think one is that uh, the spike is a global spike It is a spike that has been seen across the globe. Uh, further, we have seen this happen in our region. Uh, our counterpart in Tanzania did ri- release their pump prices last week on the 6th. They do it bi-weekly. Uh, they did increase prices as we did uh, yesterday as a regulator. They do have another review next week. And as Waziri has said, looking at the freight and premiums in the competing corridor, we as a country continue to be very competitive with respect to pricing. In terms of uh, the G2G I think there has been a question as to and this has been reported uh, also in the media as to a import bill that is coming up for payment um, in the course of this month I wish to confirm to this honorable house that we as a regulator uh, sit and superintend over a committee and the G2G arrangement called a treasury risk management committee where we do meet every Wednesday to mitigate the risks and for the vessel the first vessel under the G2G arrangement will be falling due on the 25th i wish to confirm to this honorable house that we have closed five of the cargoes all the cargoes in the month of september and october we've been able to convert all the shilling to dollar without having to approach the market working with the nominated omcs and working with uh, our counterpart regulator in the financial services sector the central bank the national treasury and our parent ministry to ensure that we are able then to unwind the shilling and be able then to pass on that benefit and ensure the LC is not called. Biblia rais ilishuka chini kweli. Mbunge wa Mbakasi Mashariki Babo Wino anashauku. The day President Ruto put down the Bible, he said that the cost of living will also be down the moment the Bible touches down. To our surprise, when the Bible touched down, the cost of living shot up to unimaginable 
levels. And I want to say that the cost of fuel, the, price of, the prices of fuel that shot up is a sign that indeed the president is making right his promise, the promise of taking Kenyans to heaven. Babo Wino amesema kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza inawakandamiza wa Kenya ambao walitambulika kama hasla wakati wa kampeni za Kenya kwanza. We were promised that the bottom up economy will salvage Kenyans from the shackles of oppression from the bondage of oppression and as we can clearly see that indeed the bottom up that we are being told is taking money from the people at the bottom and funding the people at the top wherever they are going Kulingana na mbunge huyo, mazungumzo ya bipartisan hayana umuhimu tena kwani serikali ya Kenya kwanza imekiuka matakwa yao yaliyokuwa yajadiliwe. The solution the first solution to this is that the current bipartisan talks that are going on should be called off. We advise the Azimio members who are holding the talks to walk out of the talks. It is not the time to talk, it is time to walk. Amesisitiza kwamba Rais William Ruto pamoja na naibu wake Rigathi Gwashagwa wanakula raha nje ya nchi huku wa Kenya wakiimba lele mama. The president and his deputy has left Kenya in a crisis as they are globe trotting as they are touring other countries right now there are tourists in other countries and Kenya is left in shame vile vile owina amedai kuwa matamshi ya rais Ruto ya mambo ni matatu yamepata mashiko kwani anakusudia wafe njaa ili waende mbinguni do you think the cost of living will be lowered do you think we will get anything meaningful from the bipartisan talks and therefore Kenyans are already dying. Kenyans know the way to heaven because you've clearly shown them where heaven is and I'm very sure Kenyans are ready to go to heaven and that heaven there is happiness in heaven there is no rent in heaven there is no cost of electricity in heaven you are not buying water in heaven there is free food therefore let us meet in heaven. Babu akisema kwamba iwapo wa Kenya wataenda mbinguni basi pia naye yuko tayari kuenda mbinguni. You see the way I'm, I'm, I'm dressed? This dress code shows you that I'm on my way to heaven. Owino ambaye hakutaja wazi na kuweka paruanja urejeo wa maandamano amekisia na kuwa rai wa Kenya walipo ushuru kujitokeza na kuanza kuishinikiza serikali kusikia kilio chao cha mwenye haki. The moment we resume to our normal operations then the president and the deputy president shall come back to Kenya because as things are they are very comfortable. Wameenda kuogelea ngambo wa Kenya wakiumia hapa nchini wameenda kujivinjari ngambo wa Kenya wakati wa Kenya wanaumia hapa nchini so we are waiting for a major announcement and then after that we need to stop singing and we start swinging ya mgambo ikilia kuna jambo babu amesema kukamatwa kwake kulichangiwa na tabia yake ya kuwatetea wa Kenya wakati ambapo kulikuwa na maandamano tuliona ulipotua tu anga tu ya kimataifa JKA ukachukuliwa moja kwa moja na mwenyewe unasema kwamba ulihangaishwa sana hii Nairobi unafikiria labda wa Kenya wakirejea barabarani sahi kwa sababu tunaangalia kuna mwanasiasa ambaye anakamatwa sasa hivi lakini wakati ambapo maandamano yanarejelea tunaona viongozi mnachukuliwa na kupelekwa sehemu ambazo wengine wetu hataruwezi tukaelewa mimi nilipokamatwa wale nikamata na hakuna jambo lolote ambalo nilifanya jambo ambalo linakera mtu yeyote. Shida yangu tu ilikuwa kupigania wa Kenya. Shida yangu ilikuwa kuhakikisha gharama maisha iende chini. Shida yangu ilikuwa kuhakikisha wanafunzi wetu na wazazi wetu wasilipe karo iliyo juu. 
Shidangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ni kwa kikisha bei vya bidhaa viwe chini. Shidangu kubwa zaidi ambayo nilifanya ni kupigania wa Kenya. Na nitazidi kupigania wa Kenya. Wakitaka wanishike tena. Nimezoea. Lakini mimi kama kiongozi sita simama maovu ya kitendeka. Sita simama wakati wa Kenya wanateswa. Nitazidi kupigania haki ya wa Kenya. Hatu kumalizia hapo tu. Moja kwa moja tulifululiza hadi barabara ya Uru Highway ambapo tulitangamana na madereva wa magari na uendeshaji pikipiki ili kujionea uhalisia wa mambo halisi. This is Uru Highway. Dereva huyu wa gari anasema amathirika pakubwa kufuatia bei hiyo mpya. Uh, kama hiyo uh, bei itakuwa namna hiyo na na hatujaongezwa application watu application wa tuongeza pesa ile bei inakuwa fixed hapo inatua dhiri sisi kama drivers na especially hapa kama hapa Nairobi kuoperate hapa Nairobi na hiyo bei na na hiyo station ya mafuta inatua dhiri sisi kama ma drivers na je mwana boda boda huyu anasema nini serikali inasema inaongeza mafuta hatuna matumaini kabisa na hii serikali serikali ingekuwa ya maana ingeweka hata kama ni hiyo subsidy Iangalia tu mwananchi wa kawaida. Ilisema itainua sisi watu wa chini lakini inatukandamiza. Kwa hivyo kama wana boda boda tunasikitika sana. Ukiona kama leo ni siku ya kwanza yenye tu imeongezwa hivyo. Kazi imeparara. Hakuna hata kazi. Masaa kama hii hapa uwezi tupata kwa urahisi. Watu wameamua wengi watatembea mguu. Na ni kweli kuliko uongeze mtu fea hata yeye ana mwenzake pia kisema ni kinaya cha ajabu kwa serikali iliahidi mema ya nchi kama sisi wana boda boda limetuathiri sana kwanza rais alisema ya kwamba ataangalia wana boda boda sana lakini sasa hivi tunaona kwamba ni kinaya kwamba yale ambayo aliyokuwa anatuambia wakati wa campaign imekuwa ni kinyume sana sasa hivi tunaumia hakuna kazi na yale ambayo tulikuwa tunayatarajia serikali iweze kuyafanya ni kwamba ni dairi wash kwamba hakuna chochote ambacho kinachoendelea ni wa Kenya tunaendelea kuumia sana. Je, wa Kenya watateseka na kuhangaika hadi lini kufuatia kupanda kwa bei za bidhaa muhimu? Usilete gari mbili tatu nchini Kenya ambazo zinatumia umeme kisha useme magari za umeme zitumike hapa nchini Kenya. Na kama bei ya umeme already iko juu. Hata hakuna haja kuelekea hiyo route because the main reason why wameleta hii mambo ya kutumia magari na pikipiki za umeme ni to reduce mambo za probably mambo za pollution. Sasa mimi naweza kuambia ya kwamba rais ako na visanga mingi sana hapa nchini. Juzi umemwona katika gari ya umeme angepigwa shock kwenye hiyo gari angepigwa shock atuwache na rigiji sasa inchi singeisha jamani sasa tuachane na hiyo mambo ya pikipiki za umeme <laughs> na magari za umeme tutumie ile mambo ambayo tumezoea Roni Regan namwambia Rais William Ruto pamoja na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa kwamba punda amechoka na hawezi akaendelea na safari tena wapunguze mzigo la sivyo punda atafia njiani kupanda kwa gharama ya maisha kunazidi kwa kumbwa wa Kenya huku ikizingatiwa kwamba sasa bei ya mafuta inaongezeka na wa Kenya wameomba kukaza mkanda kwani safari inaenda kukua zaidi ya safari Mwokozi wao yupo katika bunge hili la kitaifa na seneti iwapo mswada huu utaletwa na kupiganiwa wa Kenya watapata kukombolewa. Je, yatafanyika lini? Nikiripoti ya Mworedio kutoka katika majengo ya bunge hapa jijini Nairobi, jina langu ni Roni Regan. Mworedio 88.2 FM. We are in charge.